happened at school today? What? Spill the beans. Oh my god! Girl, you didn't have to say those words. It means the same as OMG. Girls, do you know when you call the name of the Lord idly as you just did, that is called blaspheming? Hey, listen to the boy. Last time I said blasted, my mother almost blasted me. Emma, I think you heard wrong. He said blaspheme. You know what? Let us pray. Your mouth, eyes, and ears. As a matter of fact, your whole body needs prayer. Wherever you are at this time, please take a posture of reverence. Let us pray. Dear Holy Father, we thank you for the subscribe to Jesus' team. Help us to spread the gospel. Forgive us our sins cleanses from all our righteousness. Bless the viewers. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, I enjoy looking at the Hudson sisters. They are very creative in their expressions. Girls, you are on point. Thank you, Denacia. I need to hear more about this. You know the word, man. Is that word. No worries, Emma. By the time we are through with this video, you will call the word and understand its meaning very well. Here I was, thinking I was being righteous every time I called the name of the Lord. Now I am learning something else. Bye! Well, 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 Ephraim. It is not just about calling the name of the Lord, but calling it in vain is a thing we are cautioned against. You see, my subscribe friends, how would you like it if someone keeps calling your name for no important reasons? Look at this demonstration. Ariella! 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 Ariel! Ariel! Can't you see I'm studying? Stop disturbing me! You see, Tavion? When Ariel was studying, Ariel kept calling her name. He had no specific reason to call her. He was calling her name in vain. Oh yes, my sister. When we call on the name of the Lord in significantly and meaningless ways, we disappoint the Lord. What time it is? What time it is? It's chigger time. What is the biggest cat on the planet? I would have been super upset. Come to think of it, God is truly patient with us. He is more patient than we ever than we even know. Don't you love God? I have been learning the commandments as Leslie Han has encouraged us to. And I know all three. But I will say them next week. I am happy you are following Charlotte. Before I say all three. Prepare to say them with me. Commandment 1. Love God more than you love anything else. Commandment 2. Do not make anything in your life more important than God. Commandment 3. Say God's name with love and respect. That was amazing, Leslie. You are an inspiration. Oh yes he is. He is a young boy. Guys, when we avail ourselves to be used by Jesus, he does amazing things for us. 
We will now be blessed by a musical rendition. the name of the Lord very often and he is not usually praising God. This means I have to tell him that it is not right. I will be bold and tell him it is wrong. I sometimes call the name of the Lord in vain as well. I will definitely stop doing this. I do not want to displease God. What about you? Most definitely. I am on board and I am certain that my subscribe to Jesus friends will be on board too. Blaspheming is a sin and you must not be guilty of that sin. Wait Sissy, you just call the word correctly girl. Well that's your place. 
when the Lord calls you, He intellectually, spiritually, and holistically equips you. I am proud of you, Emma. Let us take a look at our specialists. Hello, boys and girls. I'm Dr. Jelly Roll with your health tip. I'll be talking about our five about our five senses. Do you know that we have to take care of our five senses, which is our eyes, ears, nose, mouth, hands. That is what body, that is five senses. So remember to always use your five senses on going by the world. And our eyes help us to see, nose help us to smell, mouth help us to wake and eat, and ears help us to hear, and hands help us to pick up stuff like I picked up this. Bye! Hello boys and girls, my name is Janelle Mira Tucker with your science nuggets. Do you know that our brain is a command of our body? So our brain controls our body. Therefore, we should feed our brain with healthy stuff and what you put in, you get out. See you next Friday. Bye! These specials are amazing. I am eager to see and hear from the prophet. Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. Your prophecy tip this week comes from Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. Please follow in your Bibles as I read. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. According to to CNBC News, January 20th, 2022, former U.S. Ambassador to Ukraine, William Taylor, says how U.S. handles the Ukraine crisis will have implications to how China deals with the Taiwan issue. In addition, to the conflicts currently happening in the Middle East and the other parts of the world. Bigger wars are looming. It's important to remember this world isn't getting any better, but Jesus can make our lives better even in a broken world. This coming week, let your friends know who Jesus is. Stay well and see you next Sabbath. Bye! I have found so many things interesting about this week's episode. What about you? Turtle 1 prophecy, turtle 2 prophecy, turtle 3 prophecy, turtle 4 prophecy, turtle 5. Oh yes, I was truly blessed. I feel impressed to share this song with you. His strength is perfect when all strength is gone. He'll carry us when we can't carry on. Guys, we have come to the end of another episode. It was great meeting with you. We have a new face to our group. Let us welcome Melody as she prays for us to close. Happy Sabbath, let us pray. Dear God and a Heavenly Father, we thank you for another episode of Subscribe to Jesus. Bless the boys and girls and the mommies and daddies. Help us to have an awesome Sabbath. In Jesus' name, Amen. Guys, remember to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.